dear students today we will discuss what are body fluids and their types so body fluids are made up of water and dissolved substances which act as solute so water is the major constituent of the body fluids it acts as solvent 60 to 70 percent of the body weight is water and the dissolved substances which are solute these can be divided into electrolytes and non-electrolytes so electrolytes are we can say these are the minerals in our previous lecture we studied that what are the micromolecules present inside living organisms and it also includes minerals so the electrolytes are substances which dissociates into ions positive or negative ions so it includes salts in salts we can say that different examples of salts are sodium chloride potassium chloride or calcium chloride acids hydrochloric acid carbonic acid phosphoric acid these are the types which are present inside living organisms and bases like potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide etc so these are the electrolytes which are present inside living organism and some other may be included and the non-electrolytes non-electrolytes cannot be dissociated into ions so these are also small molecules or micromolecules which cannot be dissociated in 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 aqueous medium like glucose urea creatinine amino acids etc so these are the non-electrolyte substances which are present in body fluids so what are the different types of body fluids or distribution of fluid inside living organism there are two major categories first is the intracellular fluids and second is the extracellular fluids so inter intracellular fluids made up of 40 percent of the total body water which is 60 percent so total body water is 60 percent out of which 40 percent is intracellular fluids or we can say that two by three part is intracellular whereas 20 percent of the total body water is extracellular fluids or we can say one by three part is extracellular fluid so moving on in detail so intracellular fluids are that fluids which are present inside the cell so inside the cell we can uh, it, it can be included cytoplasm which can, which contains cytosol cytosol is the jelly like material inside the cytoplasm and organelles so cytoplasm includes cytosol and the organelles so body fluids inside the organelles are cytosol included is in intracellular fluid similarly nucleoplasm or nucleus is also included inside the cell and the fluid inside the nucleoplasm is nucleosol and we can also say that cytoplasm and nucleus collectively called as protoplasm so it is the intracellular fluid is the fluid inside the protoplasm now moving on to extracellular fluid so extracellular fluids are that fluids which are outside the cell so these are the outside of the cell so we can divide these extracellular fluids into different categories so here we have shown so intravascular intravascular are the fluids which are present inside the vessels like blood vessels so plasma inside blood is the extracellular fluid which constitutes almost 25 percent interstitial fluids interstitial fluids are the fluid inside between tissue or cell which constitutes 75 percent gastrointestinal fluids these are the fluids which are present in stomach stomach juices which are secreted by the stomach pancreas and intestinal juices cerebrospinal fluid which is csf secreted which is present in brain and spinal cord synovial fluid present inside joints lymph it is lymph so lymph in lymphatic system lymph fluid peritoneal fluid which is present in abdomen so we can say it is the abdominal fluid pericardial fluid present inside pericardium of the heart pleural fluid inside lungs glomerular fluid inside kidney vitreous humor in eye aqueous humor also in eye and perilymph in ear so these are the different types of extracellular fluids and there may be some others so we have given some examples of the extracellular fluids Thanks.